So what do you do? So now there is um, a race on around the world, okay? Um, most experiments happen to be in the US. Um, that's just the way it is, or at least US run. Um, and um, th there are balloons, there are experiments at the South Pole, there are experiments um, uh, in the Atacama Desert, which is at um, you know, um, uh, 15,000 meters altitude, right? Um, um, because the air is very clear there, you have a better chance of um, looking at this very feeble radiation field. And the hope is that with all these um, ground-based and suborbital telescopes, and there are four or five going on, being built as we speak, okay, that they will get to a limit. So what the BICEP2 experiment claimed was a signal of 10%, okay, in some units, okay, and they're going to do, um, we call this the tensor to scalar ratio, it doesn't really matter, but they're going to do a factor of 10 times better. And then, of course, by going into space, you can do 10 times better still, okay. Um, and so the, the first experiment that will be launched is, is Japanese with a, a NASA component, and um, they will probably go up around um, 2022. Then in Europe, we're discussing also a new experiment that um, there's a call next year. Again, these are billion, you know, billion pound, billion dollar experiments, incredibly expensive, again, to try to get this elusive signal. And so there is a slight um, question that um, some, some of my colleagues are asking now, namely, at what point do you stop? I mean, you know, because at the end of the day, there's no definite prediction of the actual strength of this signal. You don't know exactly what you're going to find. So do you want to make these huge investments chasing for this elusive signal, and you don't know exactly how low you have to go to find it? So that's, that's a slight question. And theory isn't very helpful at all. And of course, if you look on these very large angular scales, again, you know, you're just limited by the size of the sky. There's just, you just can't do that accurately when you... So you have to do more complicated things and that gets harder and harder.